hey hi you all welcome to the net million solutions and today we are about to discuss a very important question from f5 ltm part that either can we have multiple client ssl profiles on a single virtual server or you can say vip so if you talk about this question this can be an interview question for you guys okay so we will be gonna uh, show you how you can create what is the requirement and uh, what all of the things which we need to do please check it on uh, till last okay so if it give the answer in one word so answer would be yes we can create okay so let us suppose we have three sites which are resolving to single ip somehow so let us say www.test1.com okay www.test2.com www.test3.com and all of them three are going to the f5 and f5 has a single vip let us suppose it is 192 168 100.80 or something like that now when you have something such kind of scenario and your traffic is ssl or tls encrypted in that case your all of the sites will be using different different certificate and to make that solution to be work you need to update your client SSL profile with three certificates so that is a requirement why you required multiple client SSL profile on a single VIP okay so that is main thing and to make this enable it would not be get enabled by default you need to make some changes what are those changes we will be talking about all of those stuffs in uh, a couple of minutes okay so that requires something known as tls sni tls sni feature okay so prior to introduction of tls sni okay server name indication if you will be talking about the full form of this this is server name indication so prior to this if we talk about a single virtual server could not host multiple secure websites okay because the destination server name can be decoded from the http request header only and only after the ssl connection has been established but with the introduction of your tls and uh, tls sni okay post that what happened when someone attempt to connect your client hello packet during the ssl process will be analyzed and your f5 will select the appropriate ssl certificate to return the client in the server hello packet during your ssl handshake and that is how post sni you would be able to put more than one client ssl profiles into or you can say more profiles on a one virtual server we will be creating certificates we will be creating profiles we will be creating a virtual server we will be create and we will apply all of them and we will see what would be the issue okay what would be the error message that it will get appeared for and post that we will resolve it also so without any delay let us go ahead and do the changes but before that let me give you the theoretical part so that during the practical you guys should not have any kind of issue now first thing first for for putting out the client ssl profile your virtual server should listen on http as port that is port number 443 and 
when you are creating client ssl profile if you guys are not aware about it you i would suggest you please go through the video which is uh, showing in the i button above so that you can go through the what is client ssl profile what is server ssl profile that is the prerequisite now to make the client ssl profile if you wanted to make client ssl profile you should be having in advance the cert and key so how we will generate the cert and key of course we will not gonna pay okay for it and we are not making it for, from the global ca we will generate or we will make a self issuer certificate and the key will be generated automatically by our f5 part so without delay guys let me show you how to do all of this scenario in single go so let me open my device that is a lab okay and if i open this 172.16.20.10 you would be able to see that an f5 device is open before you okay and yes the version also matters this thing which i am providing to you it 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 works post version 13 and my device is also on running on post uh, 13 version if you wanted to see you can just you know place your uh, mouse over the host name and it will be gonna show you so it is version 13 or maybe you can go into the system and you can check from the platform I am sorry let me go through configuration and device and general you will be able to see that the build is 13.1.1.1 .1 .1 and 004 now if you go to the local traffic you move to the virtual server here you can see that we have only two virtual server one is HTTP and one is SSH let us create one more virtual server which will handle HTTPS traffic give the name maybe virtual server and this time I wanted to go for HTTPS so I am just selecting from here source address it let it be default and do for everything and destination address I am selecting 80 and be remindful that this should be your HTTPS port so that you can apply HTTPS profile or uh, sorry a client SSL profile over there now I am just selecting my by default HTTP profile over here I am not touching this part for uh, now and I am getting it finished not applying the pool even and that by default uh, let it be like that now second part we need to generate couple of the certificate go to the system into the certificate management click over here you would be able to see whatever the certificates you have and since it is a lab device you will not be able to see much of the certificates over here now let me create couple of the certificate to show you the practical how you can apply multiple client SSL profile over a single virtual server let me use maybe some name like profile one okay issuer is self and maybe common name is test one rest of the details if you can see only the blue bar is the mandate one rest of the details can be leave as it is I am clicking on the finished and once I click on the finish this will get created automatically and you will be able to see the content is containing RSA certificate and key into our profile one which is having common name test one dot net minion dot net now let us create profile two also here into the profile two uh, maybe let me give the name profile profile two I'm just taking the common name as test two maybe this time okay and finishing it post this it will take some time to load this configuration once this configuration is loaded you would be able to see the same stuff over here as well under the contents you can see there is RSA certificate and key and the common name is test two dot net minion dot net our next step is to create client SSL profiles so let us move to the local traffic into the profiles over here you can see the SSL profile and I'm moving to the client when you will clicking on the client you you will be navigated to the client SSL profile area and here you can see there are different different profiles already existing over there we are not touching them all let us create some new okay I am creating one profile that is known as maybe profile one okay 
so this is your profile which will contain some okay maybe you can go to the advanced also if you wanted to see more of the options you go over here and click on the add here you need to attach the certificate into this I am adding the profile one key of the profile one rest part I am leaving as it is and I am putting add and here you can see that this is get finished so you would be able to see the client SSL profile with the name of profile name over here okay let me delete couple of the profiles now second let me create one more profile that is profile 2 and do we have profile profile 1 let us create the profile 2 it is again the client SSL profile I am clicking over here so that this area can be appeared in front of me and here I am putting profile 2 key should be profile 2 and add it and post that I am just making it finished now I have two profiles in my hand which is profile 1 and profile 2 which has same type of security settings I am I am not tweaking with any of other option so that my security type should not get mismatched otherwise you will get some kind of security mismatch error I'm going to my virtual server now here into my virtual server which I created before some time that is VS HTTPS I'm moving into that opening that and now applying my client SSL profile so that was profile 1 let me apply profile 1 and let me update it so when you are applying profile 1 it will not show you any kind of error because you are applying a single uh, single client profile over a virtual server okay but when I would be able when I will try to apply profile 2 as well and try to update it you will feel like that it is giving some kind of option to you okay and what that is telling just just uh, have have a look on it okay let it get loaded let it get checked and here you go you can see the error what the error it is showing error it is showing that your virtual server whatever name you were virtual server is having in my case it is VS HTTPS has more than one client or server SSL profile but none of them is default for SNI now what does it mean it is saying that when you are putting couple of the profiles the system use the fallback client SSL profile as the default SSL profile so that when there is no match to the server name or when the client provide no SNI extension support your VIP can assign it to the fallback SSL profile to that TLS SNI virtual server now for that you require to have a default profile you can make one of them profile as the default one that is also not an issue but let us create a new so that we should not have any doubt okay I am creating a new profile giving a name maybe fall back as an I and here if you go into the advanced you can see okay let it be by default maybe let it be client or let it be default and default I am not touching this part and if you just scroll it down can you see this option it is showing default SSL profile for SNI click this and make it enabled when you make it enable and get it finished it means this particular profile which name is fallback SNI is the by default if you are none of those certificates are coming for that virtual server okay let us go ahead let us add your fallback SSL profile over here and let us try to add profile 2 as well and try to update your virtual server so again it is uh, loading up with this configuration and this time you can able to see guys that we are having two profiles on the same virtual server it is not limited with only two it can be more than two also but that is the way like how you can add multiple profiles on your virtual server with the help of the feature as 
and i that is server name indication hope this video is useful for you if it is kindly like kindly subscribe and kindly share it with your friends have a very good day thanks a lot bye bye take care